Vidra College, Grade 3, Computer Studies, CPU, Hardware and Software, Part 1. My dear kids, today we are going to learn another Computer Studies lesson of Grade 3. Do you know what is it? Yes, we are going to learn today about the CPU. CPU is the brain of the computer. Like we all are having a brain, computer also having a brain. It's we called CPU. Do you know what is stand for CPU? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. The CPU is located in the motherboard of the computer. Motherboard is the largest circuit board of the computer. Are you ready to learn more about CPU? Before that, shall we do a small activity? See whether can you answer these questions children. First one is, what is the function of a CPU? Second one, what is called the brain of a computer? And the third one is, what is the largest circuit board in the computer? Okay, shall we check the answers? What is the function of a CPU? It controls all the functions of a computer. Second one, what is called the brain of a computer? The answer is central processing unit or CPU. And the third one is, what is the largest circuit board in the computer? That is, motherboard. Now we are going to learn more about the CPU. Do you know children, our brain has divided into many parts. These different parts doing different functions in our brain. For example, one part of our brain help us to do mathematical calculations. One part help us to remember things and etc. Like that, CPU also divided into three parts. They are arithmetic and logic unit, control unit and the memory unit. Before learn about the functions of these parts of the CPU, we will see the structure of the computer. Look at children. Using input devices, we input data to the CPU and the CPU processing them and then send them to output devices. The data and programs are stored in the main memory and the secondary storage devices. Now we are going to learn about the ALU. ALU stands for Arithmetic and Logic Unit. It's doing all arithmetic and logical operations of the computer. Do you know what are the arithmetic operations? Arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Look at the given examples for arithmetic operations. Addition 
2 plus 2 equal 4. Subtraction. 5 subtract 2 equal 3. Division. 4 divide by 2 equal 2. Multiplication. 1 multiply by 2 equal 2. All these are arithmetic operations. Now you are having a clear idea about the arithmetic operations. Now we will learn the logical operations. Logical operations are we are comparing two or more things. Look at here. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Other parts of the CPU is control unit. We will learn the function of the control unit now. Do you know children, we need traffic lights or traffic policemen to avoid the traffic jam. They control the movements of vehicles to maintain order. Like that, the control units work with to instruct, maintain and control the flow of information between the ALU and the memory. And also, it coordinates with the other components of the computer system. Without a control unit, a computer could not follow directions and might not function properly. Look at this picture. Now we will learn about the memory unit. It holds the data and instructions that the CPU needs. These data or informations can be changed or erased. If you want, you can be taken back these stored data and information. This is the temporary storage area. Now we will do a small activity. Fill in the blanks. Question A. Blank is the brain of the computer. Question B. The blank is a key component in all computer systems. Question C. The blank performs all arithmetic operations and logical comparison operations. Question D. Blank is a temporary storage area. Now let's check the answers. For the question A, CPU is the brain of the computer. Question B, the control unit is a key component in all computer systems. For the question C, the ALU performs all arithmetic operations and logical comparison operations. For D, memory is a temporary storage area. Okay children, we will meet again with another interesting lesson. Till that, goodbye. Have a nice day.